information 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 who are you the new number two who is number one you are number six i am not a number i am a free man <laughs> well, I, I like the analogy to the, to the tobacco companies because the tobacco companies in the 40s and 50s and 60s paid tens of millions of dollars to researchers to make sure that everybody said tobacco is not harmful. <laughs> but if you believe that Google is not harmful, then you must believe that the total loss of our privacy and human dignity is not harmful. And please, don't get me wrong, I love Google from one standpoint. It has opened up the world to information beyond comprehension and has enriched our lives. But Google has taken the mantle of corporate conscience and sacrificed it on the altar of mammon for money. We are not, we are not numbers. I'm not a statistic. I'm not a collection of attitudes and, and desires. I'm a human being with my own dreams and hopes and problems. And by making me a number, you've removed my human dignity. You need to stop doing that. You need to understand. You've got to take that mantle back off that altar and put it squarely on your shoulders because that's where it belongs. Well, they, they weren't always I'm like working, this, I, right, John? They weren't always like this. So then, then how can people now feel confident in the things that they that they Google well it's like anything else uh, corruption and power does not come in a flash it comes slowly it creeps and as it creeps the the better instincts of the human animal are are moved away by power itself by money by by influence and my own company, MGT, we are, we are in the process of having our product reviewed called Sentinel, which I intend in the next five years to have installed in every home and corporate internet on the planet. And it's the world's first anti-hacking device. I'm just two minutes away from putting in there a switch to make the Google crawlers be hackers. Now, how will Google exist if they mm -hmm. cannot index the data? And I'm serious here. I am seriously ticked off about Google's lack of conscience. And I may be an old man, uh, and you may think that I've lost my, uh, my energy and strength and my teeth, but I promise you, if things don't change, I will do everything within my power to make sure that the objections of the world are laid squarely on the doorsteps of Google. Well, John, you are certainly a legend in my book, and I think a lot of uh, people in the industry certainly respect what you have to say, and that's why we've gone to you about all of this. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us. That's John McAfee, cybersecurity legend and CEO of MGT Capital. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.